Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Strange things indeed. 200 billion market cap. Bitcoin, 62. It was at a low at 5,500. Um, Bitcoin Cash, absolutely. Um, just went parabolic. Making a quick update today just because I'm not really feeling that well, but this is important news. And I just felt like to give my two Satoshi on it. Um, right now, Bitcoin has just, Bitcoin Cash has just went parabolic. And I'm going to tell you the reason behind all of this, in my opinion. This is all my opinion, obviously. But so doing my research, basically, this is kind of how this happened and went down. Now, there's that letter. If you've read the letter, um, I'll put I'll, I'll find it but basically it was that guy who posted in July 3rd or person we don't know July 30th talking about you know the doomsday scenario saying that Segwit 2x was never meant to be it was all a conspiracy to get to Bitcoin cash with the miners colluding and all that because after the New York agreement um, basically there was a compromise right the Segwit 2x they wanted larger block size and there was going to be something met in the middle since that Bitcoin Cash, all that's thrown out the window. Now, all of those powerful people are thinking, okay, well, Bitcoin Cash is going to be what we agreed on because, you know, it does have SegWit, but it has the larger block size. And that's all they really wanted was the larger block size. Um, so I can get into a couple of things. What do I want to get into first? Okay, so I can tell the setup was they were saying, and this makes perfect sense. So basically what happened in my opinion, and also based off that crazy ass letter uh, so I thought it was weird, right? Roger Veer, you know, I was talking about him in my last video. He doesn't make fucking wrong bets. And I was very concerned about this because I was like, what the fuck is he doing? What does he have up his sleeve? And it made sense because if you think about it, after, no matter what they did, the price of Bitcoin Cash was going to crash after the release of it. Because people looked at it as free money. It had very bad publicity. There was not much they can say. It was kind of like trying to pump an altcoin before a Bitcoin fork. You, he just was a, it was a losing battle. So what they did was they let themselves lose and let people dump it to nothing. Let them dump it. You know, it was at 150 at one point. They were just letting them dump. Let them dump. Let everyone dump and laying low in the weeds like fucking snakes. Laying low in the weeds. Scooping up all the cheap. You know, they weren't buying it until you can see there was no buy volume really. It started to really die out at one point. And then you can see it slowly out of nowhere. Just start to pick up, pick up, pick up. Um, they let people dump it till everyone was done selling. And they did that for a while. And then out of nowhere, they start to scoop it up. So what happens is... When this thing started to get pumped and Roger and all these guys started to dump their Bitcoins, which they have, you know, so many Bitcoins, it's insane. They have the, so much power. They let the Bitcoin price, I almost think, so th this is all conspiracy theory on my part. This is what I believe happened. It could be wrong, but I've listened to everything. This is just my opinion. So we had this crazy pump, right? If people will remember, out of nowhere, it just shot up to like almost eight thousand dollars if you remember this and then there was the fierce dump and then that's when we saw all the crazy strange things happening i believe that this is what happens um after so they were prepared in my opinion like military snipers like they were just so ready for this to happen they knew when seg all this is going to just and they were prepared right so they cause a pump boom because people don't know what's going to happen with bitcoin right now it could right now right here at this point it could have went anyway could have went up or down because you know people weren't getting their free coins but then it was good news in people's eyes because there wasn't going to be the split and so someone decided to pu push the herd in one direction just to slam dunk it right so i'm thinking people are, you know this is where the dump happened and they got you know maximum value for their bitcoin and, and we're getting bitcoin cash and then over the terms then this was coordinated, just a straight, um, this is how the market responded. So think of it this way. When they were dumping the Bitcoin for Bitcoin cash, there was no one left to sell. Everyone, most people had sold their Bitcoin cash and, you know, back in these days. And that was the scary part because there was literally no one there to sell. It was kind of like, 
there were, yeah, I'm sure there were some people who did not sell, but a lot of people did, and they were scooping it up, letting all that bad publicity. And now you have just all of these hardcore you can, libertarians, really. I mean, Roger um, McAfee, um, just a lot of people who are supporting Bitcoin Cash. The one big flaw, in my opinion, though, I'm going to get into this, is the uh, ASIC boost. And how centralized it will be because I've listened to the, I've, I've listened to everything from them and I understand there's going to be in my opinion two bitcoins and people say well how because there would be no need for one or the other okay well this is how because the miners are choosing Bitcoin Cash now what's going to happen is there's going to be new miners that come over to Bitcoin that are going to pick up the slack. because Bitcoin at the end of the day is still going to be the most decentralized coin. And Roger said something interesting. He said that Bitcoin Cash um, censorship censorship resistance is the most important, not um, decentralized, being decentralized. And he didn't say in those exact words, but he was saying censorship resistance is more important than that. And I was thinking, well, that's kind of ass backwards because who if if the coin is centralized, then who cares about censorship? Because you're not going to be able to. It's going to be like a monopoly. It's like not, it's worse than censorship. It's dictatorship. You can't reason with these guys once they have the power grip. And you have to understand there was, in, so basically it was, there was a bunch of pre mining going on basically because all of this Bitcoin cash, everyone was ready for this. So the difficulty was low. So look at the inflation. Look how many more. Who do you, where do you think those hundreds of thousands of extra Bitcoin cash went to? And who you think was scooping up all this cheap stuff with this crazy idea? You know, this is all conspiracy theory if it's right. But if it is right, think about it. If they, you know, basically it was a battle plan. Duped everybody. Making them think that the Segwit thing was going to happen. And the whole time, you know, Bitcoin Cash was just ready for the flea flicker. You know, wide open in the end zone. And there was no one to dump. So the price could just keep mooning. Um, a complete attack. Deliberate. All the miners were at Bitcoin Cash. That was so coordinated. That was not fucking random. That was all coordinated. Like it was like an absolute axe to the head of Bitcoin. Luckily, Bitcoin has like this titanium skull and it fucking. I, so that was the one thing in that letter because the guy said there was just Bitcoin was just going to go, go down to nothing because all these guys have all these Bitcoins and there was going to be the end of Bitcoin. There's going to be no dead cat bounce. It was just going to be like Mt. Cox and it's just absolutely down to zero. And that's where he was wrong because in a point that it we obviously have fought and back. And I just think that people realize that what how what good's a store of value what good now i completely understand if you want centralized money for day to buy your coffee that's fine because it's not that important to you you're just using it to buy your coffee it's easy it's convenient it doesn't really matter right so that's what bitcoin cash can be it could be your sensor you know it could be your centralized form of money almost like the next dollar but it's going to be owned by china basically and bitcoin is different yeah ten dollars a fee fee they're I, they're going to improve it right i just bet that they are it's kind of like people who bet against ethereum i just think that ethereum has too much power too much firepower to not fix its issues it's kind of just like it's going to get done i just have faith in them just like with bitcoin i have faith in the bitcoin core team that are going to implement you know charlie lee all these smart minds charlie's not a part of bitcoin core but he's like agreeing with the tech saying how great segwit is how far advanced you know it's like satoshi this was way back you know 2000 this was way back when eight nine years ago even further when he was creating it there's a lot of new stuff that's come out since then and um the adoption is just absolutely going crazy the bigger the blocks you gotta think the bit the worst thing about big blocks is you gotta download that whole blockchain your that whole blockchain imagine 10 years five years from now when the blockchain is just so massive and then you have like these huge blocks, who's going to be able to download that entire blockchain and be able to process? All? It's just going to take, it's going to become very, very, very centralized very quickly. And then you're going to have governments that can step in because really, you know, it's going to be a battle between the gang members. And then it's just, it's a slippery slope. I believe, yeah, sure. Bitcoin cash can be um, cash that you use every day, but for my store value, why do you think Bitcoin is going for $12,000 in Zimbabwe? They weren't doing it so they could buy fucking coffee with it. They were doing it so they could not get hyperinflated. And that's why you'll get Bitcoin because that is the true store of gold. Only something that is decentralized 
is a true store goal. It doesn't, you can say censorship all you want, man. Bitcoin core team is not China miners. I don't give a fuck what anyone has to say. Like I can deal with that because these are humans. They show their faces. Um, a lot of this is emotional. A lot of this is personal. I've done the research. Yeah, I'm sure I, I've witnessed like from the research that, yeah, they do some censoring, which is a bullshit, but you can't control every member, but there's a lot of stuff that isn't. And I think it's getting better with time. That's a small thing, in my opinion, when you're talking about Chinese miners taking over. I just think that um, that is being downplayed too much. It's like, why is the ASIC boost there? Yeah, I like John. You know, McAfee's awesome, but he's also a big miner. I mean, Roger Veer, yeah, you know, he's been wrong before. You know, Mt. Gox, he, there's a lot of money out there for him. It's like, yeah, these people that I have some respect for, you know, they're just sharks. And sharks recognize shark. But these guys are going... You know, just a lot of money in it, man. It's hard to turn down when, when if Bitcoin Cash was the real, you know, whoever was invested, you know, has already made so much money getting it for the the, the dirt bottom. All of those fucking easy mind coins. You can see how many more are out there. It's um, it's a it's a slippery slope. So what I'm doing, what is different, what is something that is kind of worrisome, because Bitcoin is completely under attack right now. Like this is such a coordinated thing. They like pulled Bitcoin's pants down and shoved them outside onto the stage for everyone to see because they're really spam attacking. Um, there's a lot of malarkey going on, a lot of bad bullshit going on. So you know, I'm trying to deposit, buy some altcoins, and um, as you can see, this was yesterday, last night, and then out of nowhere. I get this back. It just like slam dunked in my face. Um, the 18 Bitcoin that I had transferred. Look at that. It sent it back to me and all these crazy, like what the hell? Just sent it back to me in this crazy thing. No, because I sent it all at once. As you can see, see, 11 hours ago, I sent it that. And then out of nowhere, I just got everything refunded. Um, so that kind of, there's a bothersome thing because I'm wondering how many people actually have Bitcoin that they're trying to sell, you know, because they're panicking. I think actually that kind of backlog kind of maybe backfired on the people who are attacking Bitcoin because it, it gave people time to sleep and have a rational head and realize, you know, kind of what's going on instead of just panic buying, you know, Bitcoin cash at the top at like 2,500 it was last night, you know, people were buying it. Um, and yeah, a coordinated pump doesn't take much, guys. You know, you, people, that was definitely people dumping their Bitcoin to high-end people for Bitcoin Cash. We know who they are. And that was the move. And I don't know how, they probably, of course, have more ammo left, but they gave it a lot. They pushed as hard as, you know, that was a really hard push on their part. And I believe that uh, Bitcoin is holding itself really well. We'll see what happens when the transaction times speed up and if this price is going to go down or not. Like I said, there's going to be two forms. Once Bitcoin does get its lightning network in and all that down the road, then it'll be one of the ultimate forms of stored value. But right now, it is the best store value if you're talking about between Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash because Bitcoin Cash is more centralized, way, way, way more centralized, especially if you think down projected into the future, you'll see really how... there there's just so much of this stuff in the hands of the Chinese miners that it's just game over. I think Roger got in over his head now. I think that this is just, it's no longer the vision, right? You know, Satoshi, I'm pretty sure didn't have all these Chinese miners rolling the coin in his mind. Um, and if he was around today, who knows? But it really, at this point, is so far removed from that. You have to trust the the best and the brightest on an open source platform. The people really like Bitcoin. If you put the poll, most people choose Bitcoin over Bitcoin Cash. I have no problem with Bitcoin Cash doing what it's doing, but now it's trying to take the title. Um, it's just, you know, basically the consensus stayed with Bitcoin and they decided to fork. They decided to, to create their own coin. They should have stuck with that because now them trying to like literally just destroy Bitcoin. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to destroy Bitcoin because they believe they're right. And it's different. It's very, very difficult when you think you're right, because you could think of the Holy Crusaders back in the day and they thought they were right. And they were slaughtering people left and right. When people were fucking hung and burned as witches, people thought they were right doing the right thing. It's like, it's very destructive when you're destroying someone else in the name of what you think is right. I don't believe that is very good. I think that's just something that, leads to destruction overall um what i really like about bitcoin core um 
is they're not really lashing out. I think that, you know, they're steady working, keeping their heads down, grinding. And we're really seeing a lot of lashing out from Bitcoin Cash. A lot of the big members are, are, are putting their opinions out there. Really, really, really pushing this thing. You see the volume is just absolutely off the charts. Um, as per what I'm doing, um, if I can ever get a uh, transaction off, I am going to be delegating some of my my holdings to altcoins. Just going to be heavier in altcoins. Definitely not going to be dumping my Bitcoin. Definitely not going to be buying any Bitcoin cash. Um, I just don't. It's just not my cup of tea. I mean, yeah, it might be cool if you want a cup of coffee in fucking Korea. Cool. Or, you know, anywhere. I'm sure it's it's very fast. Um, but Bitcoin right now, I really trust it more as a store of value. I do not trust Bitcoin Cash. To put all of my money in, into a Bitcoin Cash vault, so to speak, is very dangerous in my opinion. So, yeah, I'm just going to kill it there. Cheers. Peace.